Welcome to the Artist Academy podcast, a place where we focus on the business side of art to help you increase profits, attract more customers, and ultimately live a life of creativity and financial freedom. I'm your host, Andrea Earhart, and today's episode features Belgium-based painter Anastasia Trusova. Anastasia was referred to me by my artist friend, Shannon Joy, who prefaced the introduction of her as This is the artist I most admire, her style, her way of life, everything. This is what I want to accomplish, too. So, obviously, I had to reach out to her. And when I did, I actually had no clue that Anastasia didn't speak English, which made this interview very interesting. So she volunteered her gracious husband to translate, and we gave it our best shot. So this gives you a look at what artists from across the world are doing to make money as a creative. And it's funny because the tactics are very similar to what we're doing over here in the United States, specifically the strategy to donate a painting in order to meet future collectors. So much like I suggest to do with like live painting at charity banquets, Do whatever you can to get in that room and be seen by people who could be turned in to a customer. And so this, (laughs) we're going to edit out a lot of the double speaking parts where she's speaking Russian in this interview and just mostly keep in where her husband is translating just in order to like speed speed it up a little bit because likely not all of you speak Russian. So we're just going to mostly keep the English in, but just know that we were going back and forth and she was also talking and her husband is, you know, translating as we do it. So stick with me through this multilingual interview and let me know what you think about this week's episode with Anastasia Trusova. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. (laughs) Yes. Nice to meet you as well. Awesome. So Can you start off by introducing yourself, telling us a little bit about who you are and how you got into the arts? I was uh, painting from my childhood and I always knew that I would uh, become a painter or an artist or an architect. I was raised in a small city. There was uh, a college and uh, it was for art. And she had the choice between um, going to work or uh, going to college and uh, educate herself. Then later she moved uh, to Moscow, and there she had um, more choices to choose from, more possibilities to choose from. Uh, And and she finished her institute for shoe design, so she's actually, uh, uh, she has a diploma in uh, shoe design. Yes. Oh, really? Oh, that's yeah. fun. <laughs> How did you get established on your really thick textured art? How long did that take you and how did you get there? Uh, yes, as we met, me, I lived in, in Belgium. My name is Alexander, by the way. <laughs> so she was in, uh, in Moscow and I was in Belgium. And uh, in order to come together, she had uh, to leave behind her job and because she was... Uh, uh, working for a, a big uh, shoe company and was uh, a couple of years uh, in, in China and uh, checked the uh, the factory and the, the production place and so on and uh, developed her own uh, shoes. And uh, at this moment, uh, as we mentioned, she, she had to choose uh, whether to go to Belgium or to uh, stay in Russia. And uh, likely she she took me <laughs> and uh, went to uh, to Belgium. After two years of marriage, Anastasia felt that uh, uh, something is missing in her life and uh, she she wanted to start something. And art became a therapy for her. And uh, she came uh, back to what she liked her whole life. She loved uh, to paint. At the time, to paint is, uh, is very little when you have kids. And uh, painting with oils is uh, is very difficult because it takes uh, a long time to uh, and, uh, to dry. Painting with acrylics is uh, not so easy, and it, it becomes flat, and uh, the colors vanish quite fast. And she wanted thick and voluminetic uh, texture, and she saw uh, she saw gel medium. It is a it is a thickener actually. Yeah, and she looked up on the internet how to use it, and uh, there was nothing. There was just <laughs> just the leg. <laughs> it was uh, 
and she uh, started to experiment. It was uh, just a structure on the canvas, canvas, Play and uh, on Play top to on top of the gel of the gel medium, she uh, painted with acrylics, she and then she started to mix it with wood. colors, and it was uh, very interesting, and that's how she came actually to. Uh, to the thick brushes and uh, strokes. She's uh, still experimenting with acrylics and she, she thinks that uh, uh, it's a great uh, medium and uh, f- uh, there's a, a big future behind this acrylic. Yeah. Yes, awesome. Yeah, I also use acrylic, but not as thick as you do. And so I'm, I'm intrigued by your process. <laughs> How long, I guess, I'm trying to figure out like in this time frame. How long did it take you to go full time and make money with your art? Like, where was the tipping point in that? We must say that uh, an artist works his whole life on his name. Yeah, and uh, you cannot say that uh, that she started uh, to paint in 2017, and uh, after two years of work, she uh, she had uh, her first sale. Uh, it is more that uh, that she started painting when she was a kid. Uh. This question is uh, is often asked, but uh, some people need two years to start uh, selling, and others they need thirty years uh, to to master their technique and uh, uh, to, uh, when the sales come. Uh, so the most important thing is to paint uh, what you like and how you like that. Uh... Yes, definitely. Yeah, there's no. It's it's such a weird road that we're on me being an artist. Is there something you don't like to paint without? Like, do you have a favorite tool that you use when you paint? <laughs> without my hands. She said. <laughs> <laughs> How are you getting most of your commissions? Social, Social media, Instagram. Actually, uh, yes, I've, uh, I've, I've, we started also on, uh, on a Reddit account. Oh. She gives a lot away for charity. And uh, this, uh, this also brings customers. What kind of charities? There are art uh, galleries and, uh, and exhibitions where you provide uh, your painting and they, they sell it. And the, the earnings from the, from the sale go to, uh, to children and other uh, to animals. I don't know. It depends on the, on the theme. But uh, I know that you had it for Spain, for a Spanish gallery, I think the last one. The next one uh, will be um, for a uh, uh, water purification plant. They are gathering money for third world countries. Uh, yes, exactly. This is... Uh, yeah, but the first uh, sale was via Instagram. <laughs> she had uh, about uh, 200 paintings and uh, 70,000 followers. Wow. So it's not an, uh, a quick da, no. uh, way to, to make money. <laughs> and uh, she was uh, working every day. Yeah. Okay. So working every day to build up your social media in order to get sales and build up that artist's credibility and then also donating to different charities. How many charities do you think you donate to a year? I'm just trying to get an idea. It depends on uh, how many people are asking. Yes, because uh, uh, she, she's not, not searching for, <laughs> for people to give away uh, or to provide some, some paintings or whatever. Uh, and um, it depends. Uh, from year to year, it's, it's different. Sometimes uh, there are more requests and uh, sometimes less, but uh, maybe three, five, Something around there that in a year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of scammers in this field, and uh, we have to to verify, uh, make our research before we uh, interact with the with these people who are asking for for a painting or for money. You know, so, yeah, but uh, there's a lot of scammers. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Really? Oh yeah. no! <laughs> I've done this a couple of times. Like I've given paintings to charities and then I have gotten well, stuff in return from that but it's, I, I like to hear that it's one of your main ways that, that you're doing it and you're getting business that way awesome okay so do you have a favorite past painting that you've done it's always the last one huh? mm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah totally 
Awesome. Okay. What are your plans right now? What do you have any goals that you're trying to hit or what's in the works right now? At the moment, uh, she's uh, writing a book, uh, oh. How to Paint in Her Style. It will be uh, ready in June. So we have uh, already a publisher and um, it is a big company from Russia. We will start with uh, Russia. And uh, after that, there are going to be a translation, an English translation, and the books uh, will be available for English speaking. For me. <laughs> there will be um, uh, video lessons to this book that you uh, will be able to follow, and they will be free on YouTube. Awesome. The book is mainly for people who don't use the internet. Okay, yeah. <laughs> are there people out there that don't use internet? <laughs> Quite a lot, yeah, she said. Uh, really? Oh, okay. Uh, so we had a question. Uh, somebody asked a question. How do you tell if it's a scammer that's wanting your free art and how do you tell if it is a legit company? There are a lot of, of scam and uh, in the first, uh, in the first, in our first years, uh, there were actually, um, the most popular scam is, uh, is with a check, with a paycheck. So they uh, they say that they'll order a painting and uh, they'll uh, give you a check, but you, it will be available in a few days. But you can send me the the painting right now and so on. So <laughs> basically, uh, you have to research the company that is asking and uh, uh, and how they ask. So if they don't have an, uh, an ad address and you can you can't reach them by phone, and they don't have an internet uh, site and uh, and so on. So it's uh, it's it's basic research, and uh, often uh, uh, Google recommendations and reviews, yeah. Google reviews, they often tell that, uh, that oh, be careful with that gallery. They they scam. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get those emails too of people asking that for art and. Yeah, they want you to ship it and they'll send you a check and it's yeah, it's spam. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so you've grown your social media very big. And can you give us some social media tips? Like, do you post every day? Do you go live? What kind of stuff do you do to grow? This is our uh, her first uh, live uh, oh. interview. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but for beginners, it's quite easy on Instagram. Uh, the, the algorithm is, is quite uh, helping the, the newcomers. Uh, you have to, uh, to put the right hashtags. Every day uh, a post right. and don't buy uh, followers because uh, they will uh, do more harm than uh, than good. What she does, she's uh, deleting uh, some followers, some inactive uh, followers that are subscribed to, to a lot of people or are inactive. You have to delete them. How can you tell if they're inactive? Like how, how can I go delete a bunch of inactive followers? <laughs> you have to uh, you have to check each one by hand and uh, check his profile. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a lot of work. Uh, she's uh, checking her publications and uh, and checking who made the likes and see uh, if they're active or not. And uh, yeah, okay. She saw a question about <laughs> uh, local hashtags and yes, yes. she's uh, using them. <laughs> Okay, what other kind of hashtags? Like, what what hashtags exactly are you using? Are you tagging other accounts? Too? Okay, there are the the common and the popular ones like art, painting, but more common for her is more particular sunset hashtags lava. like uh, sunset lava or uh, sakura painting or some uh, specific ones. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so this is a art business podcast. And so we try to dive into the business strategies of artists. Do you have any just business practice tips for us? She wanted to mention that uh, an artist is not only his painting. Uh, he can sell the prints. NFT. Uh, NFTs. NFTs. I just got into that. <laughs> Yeah. His right on the print and on the digital copy. It is uh, often sold also in, in for puzzles, for example, or I don't know. It doesn't happen from uh, one day to another. You have to keep going uh, and, and don't give up. <laughs> Maybe with someone it's, uh, it's happening. And they, they you have to learn and uh, develop yourself. 
Yeah. Reading okay. books, checking marketing strategies. All the things. <laughs> yeah. all, all the things, yeah. You have, to do, <laughs> you have to do them and use all the possibilities that you have. All social media platforms. No, главное, это семья. But the most important is the family, of course. So. Yeah, that's why we work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There was one last question on here. Somebody asked a question, do you copyright your work? Do you mean uh, when uh, when she posted? Like um, a watermark or something? Yeah. There's no watermark. You can... Uh, okay. Uh, because their works, uh, her works uh, were already stolen and copied and uh, yeah. uh, well, what would she say uh, she'll paint another one and <laughs> so yeah because you can you can't um what can you do if, uh, if somebody from china prints uh, on a dress a painting of you what what can you do huh? <laughs> <laughs> has that happened if people yeah, have sold stole your artwork yeah, yeah. And, and they they sold it on amazon yeah Brian. It was printed uh, on uh, on a dress and um, painting, and uh, they they had sales <laughs> actually. Yeah, it's crazy, and uh, they never asked uh, Anastasia for, for for the copyright. They just uh, uh, yeah took it from the internet. <laughs> Rude. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So, but uh, but if you are afraid of getting your work stolen, then uh, uh, then uh, you don't have to use uh, social media and keep it for yourself so that nobody sees it. <laughs> so you can do that. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so true. <laughs> yeah, but it's NFT. Uh, Congratulations to your sale uh, on NFT. She uh, thank she you. Saw, she yeah. saw it. Thanks. Beautiful painting. Thank you. I appreciate that. You have beautiful paintings. <laughs> I guess there's one last question that I ask everybody is basically like if you were to give yourself advice back in the day, like what's that one piece of advice that you would give to artists today and yourself then of how to make it as an artist? If you're asking about uh, her, what, what advice she would give herself from the past, then uh, she said nothing. I, I've done everything right. <laughs> <laughs> In our family, it's uh, a lot of things happening, but we are also... Uh, doing uh, a lot of stuff so we're not sitting around and, uh, and for the young ones uh, uh, to to learn and uh, don't uh, try to uh, to be liked by everyone you can choose uh, what you paint how you paint yeah and uh, from uh, uh, from the uh, billions and billions of, of people there will be a, a few that uh, uh, that uh, uh, that likes your painting and uh, and maybe some of them will actually buy it yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you just have to meet these people <laughs> huh? and uh, social media helps with it yeah you just have fun with it i guess yeah. have fun and work hard That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. I know you're busy to come on and chat with me. I really appreciate it. This has been fun. I've never done this before. And yeah, thank I you. think that you, you're going to inspire many artists. So thank you for taking the Hopefully, time to yeah. chat with us. <laughs> Hopefully. It was, uh, it was nice, nice speaking to you. Yes, you too. And that's a wrap. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Artist Academy podcast. And if you like hearing interviews, just like this in your ear if they inspire you then i want to encourage you to go download the audible version of my new book mural money it's a condensed version of basically all of the best of the best tips given here on the podcast from guests plus my own words of wisdom to help you get started in any art industry plus stories of some hard lessons learned that i have never told before. You can pick up a copy at muralmoney.com. And again, I highly recommend the Audible version. I put a lot of tender love and care to make sure the Audible was extra special. It had some extra goodness in there. And it's really for any artist, but especially those wanting to make a profit from a paintbrush. Muralmoney.com. That's it. I'll see you next week.